This is Nerepha Vallis. And this is what scientists believe Nerepha Vallis looked like billions of years ago. A Martian river with flowing liquid water surrounded by sandy, rocky hills. Now, this could be the location of a grand discovery. NASA has made an announcement this week that the Perseverance rover may have found a potential biosignature. This may be the first ever detection of life on Mars. But what exactly did it find? Hey, Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu, and in this week's video, let's talk about life on Mars. The Perseverance rover is a one-turn, six-wheeled mobile laboratory. Together with Ingenuity, that little helicopter demonstration mission, they formed NASA's Mars 2020 mission. This was a mission aimed at studying ancient Martian geological processes, habitability, and search for biosignatures, meaning evidence of past life. So to do this, Perseverance is equipped with a drill and a sophisticated system for collecting rock and soil samples. Basically, it's grabbing promising specimens, sealing them up in small metal tubes, and then leaving them on the Martian surface to be retrieved later by a potential future Mars sample return mission. Or at least that was the idea. This is looking less and less likely with the recent budget cuts. Now, Perseverance landed in Jezero Crater in 2021, but why Jezero? The answer's simple, water. From orbital images, scientists could see clear evidence that Jezero Crater was once this massive lake fed by an ancient river. The crater contains a river delta, which is a fan-shaped deposit of sediment that suggests that it once had a flowing river emerging from a standing body of water. On Earth, river deltas are excellent at trapping and preserving organic materials, so carbon-based substances originating from recently living organisms. And this is why river deltas are considered prime locations to look for signs of ancient life. Now, in 2024, while exploring Neretva Vallis, this ancient river valley stretching 400 meters across that was carved by water rushing into the Jezero crater long ago, specifically on the outer edge by these rocky outcrops, which are exposed sections of the sedimentary rock known as Bright Angel Formation. Perseverance had been examining rocks in this region, and they seem to be mostly fine-grained mudstone, so like clay and silt, with very small particles that are too small to be seen without a microscope. This type of rock typically forms in calm water environments like lakes, lagoons, and deep seas. But they also contained organic matter, so matter that contains carbon-based compounds that are usually associated with living organisms, either as their remains or their waste products. However, that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is a particular rock named Sheava Falls, which they think could be a potential biosignature. It's so interesting that they have drilled a core sample nicknamed Sapphire Canyon, which is ready to collect and bring back to Earth for analysis. If only we had a mission to do so. But back to the rock, two distinct features were found, and these are informally known as poppy seeds and leopard spots. The poppy seeds are these 100 to 200 micron circular, irregularly shaped spots that are black, dark blue, and dark green. And then they've got these leopard spots, which are a lot larger. They range from 200 microns to about a millimeter with dark toned rims and lighter cores. Now, Perseverance Rover's pixel instrument found something fascinating. The tiny poppy seeds and leopard spots inside the rock, they were rich in a type of iron that you don't usually see on Mars, ferrous iron. Now, you know Mars is the red planet because of rust, right? Well, that's ferric iron, the oxidized version. But these spots contained its opposite, ferrous iron, which is a reduced state and typically more whitish gray in color. These features, these poppy seeds and the leopard spots, they were found exclusively in rocks that were poor in ferric iron, so rich in ferrous iron and contained organic carbon. They were completely absent in rocks that were ferric iron rich and without organic matter. 
This strong link between the presence of organic material and reduced ferrous iron suggests that the organic matter may have fueled a chemical reaction called a redox reaction, reduction oxidation reaction. This is where the organic matter provides the fuel for a chemical reaction. It gave up its electrons, which were then used to reduce the oxidized iron in the surrounding rock. This reaction created the ferrous iron rich minerals that we see in the form of the poppy seeds as gregite and iron sulfide, and in the leopard spots, vivianite and iron phosphate. On Earth, these same kinds of mineral forming redox reactions are often driven by microbes that consume organic matter for energy. The microbes use the oxidized iron or sulfate as a terminal electron acceptor. Essentially, they breathe it in the absence of oxygen, and the minerals are a byproduct of that process. And this is why these formations are considered a potential biosignature or a sign consistent with past biological processes. However, a non-biological explanation cannot be ruled out yet. We need more data to confirm a biological origin, and the best way to do that is to bring those samples back to Earth for a more detailed analysis in our labs. We don't want a repeat of the Allen Hills meteorite. Back in the 1990s, scientists believed a meteorite from Mars named ALH 84001 contained fossilized microbes. I mean, it really looked convincing. The announcement created this worldwide sensation, but later research showed that the microscopic features could have been formed by non-biological processes. It did teach us a lesson though. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Anyway, that's all I have time for this week. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting this video. You can join down below, but otherwise, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe. Hey space cats, fly with me to the stars Faster than light, soaring past Mars Unveiling the cosmos, new worlds to explore